Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we have several items to cover. There's an increasing eruptive trend on the sun. We've got a bombshell in cosmology, migration, and a double dose of weather on the opposite side of our last examination. So let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star where we find things are increasingly active. Moderate plasma pushes from the left side, incoming, as solar flares reach up into M-class range several times. We also have those coronal holes out ahead of them due to impact Earth with enhanced solar wind later this week. The X-ray flux here shows the increasing flare production, and the culprits are a group of sunspots that are growing rapidly over the last day. When we come to the HMI over the last 24 hours, we see two active regions growing strongly. The one trailing on the south, which just crossed central heliographic longitudes, and the incoming group near the equator by the established umbral core on the left. It's the incoming group over to the left where the flares and eruptive events are happening, so we are watching that one closely here today for more flares. Sun could be waking back up for another party here in the second half of Sunspot Maximum. Well, first up in the articles is this. Most of you know I am no fan of modern cosmology and I'm openly hostile towards dark matter, but if you're going to offer a new theory on those particles, make them electromagnetic, like they did here. It's my favorite part of cosmology. The rule, of course, is they can't have electromagnetic cross-sections, right? Except several scientists are now recognizing you can't explain the cosmos with particles like that. While I doubt this new hypothesis nails it on the nose, it is a move in the right direction in my book. This one's interesting. They think wildebeest migrations have changed dramatically, and of course they're blaming climate change. However, these animals use Earth's magnetic field among visual cues when they're migrating, and so it is expected that their migrations would change. Good candidate event there as being an effect of Earth's magnetic pole shift. We also have a tragic story in Arizona today about a major flood. It was the rainiest day in years. Several have died and the devastation is extreme. You may recall just a few days ago we shared how drought was on the rise worldwide, but mentioned that floods were too. Here's one, and here's a paper suggesting that yes, even while drought is on the rise, so is extreme precipitation when it decides to drop. This is the both sides of the swing that get delivered with a magnetic pole shift. And folks, we are now just six weeks away from the premiere of the documentary on the disaster cycle and magnetic pole shift, two months from the public release, and goldobservers.com deserves our thanks for making the upcoming film free for everyone to watch online. If you aren't prepping gold and silver, you're probably behind or don't understand how they hold value even in a society without currency or an economy. From every stage of the disaster, money, bartering, home remedies, stack those metals and keep it in the family, goldobservers.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, at 6.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.